Oh, well, Mason, uh, first of all, uh, D Darcy's uh, a new wedded man. How was, how was the wedding on the weekend? I guess uh, we sort of the talk of the club. Yeah, Darcy and Grace uh, put on a really good show on the weekend. Um, probably the best wedding I've been to, and I've been to a few this year, so um, that's saying a bit. Um, no, they seemed really happy on the day, and it was it was awesome to be a part of it. Yeah, uh, how's things here, mate? Obviously, um, uh, uh, a new vibe, a new new coach, new setup here, and, and everything from a, from a defensive point of view. How, how has sort of that shaped your preseason, and what are the sort of key aspects from a defensive aspect, which is sort of something that, that the Bombers obviously need to improve quite quickly? Yeah, I think Brad's been big on um, pressure and chase pressure and that sort of thing, and. Um, I feel as though if we can bring that from a midfield and forward point of view, we can, it can give us a, a lot of good stability behind the ball. Um, I think it's fair to say that defence wins premierships and, and that's something we've struggled at in the past, so uh, it's been a big focus for us. It seemed as though it was a pretty fiery match sim the other day. Is that something that Brad Scott sort of instilled in you to kind of channel that even so early on? Yeah, I think all the boys are competitive. That's why we're here. So. Um, I think once once you get into a match sim sort of point of view, um, everyone everyone's competitive uh, nature gets gets going, and yeah, so there's some uh, there's some clashes out there. You and Jakey smoothed yeah. the waters a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just a it was just a nice cuddle for us uh, on the field. We're obviously competitive boys and um, trying to get the best out in each other, and and that can cause clashes like that. And it was. Um, I don't know if the camera's caught about literally five minutes later we're having a chat and, and everything's all good so yeah it was uh, it was nice to be a part of. You mentioned that the I mean the defensive stuff wins premierships obviously the transition from you know the ball obviously from the, from the opposition point of view going from one into the other was, was sort of a major thing that, that needs to be, be needs to be fixed. How, have you sort of got past that or discovered maybe why that was the case and, and gone about rectifying that? Yeah, I think Brad's been big on obviously instilling that defensive nature into us and it's been clear if you look at the stats we've we've really struggled at stopping the opposition from transitioning the ball for a number of years now so it's been a big focus of ours over this pre-season and um, yeah I feel as though we're making good inroads to it and um, we probably won't know how we're really going with it until we start versing a, um, an actual opposition so uh, we're really excited to come up against Gold Coast and then St Kilda before the season starts and hopefully we can have a look at how our progress is tracking. you come off a real breakout year yourself personally, what sort of goals have you set for this pre-season given you really establish yourself now as one of the elite halfbacks of the competition? Yeah, I think something that's held me in good stead the last few years and I've been building um, in terms of my career is just getting through the uh, pre-season without an injury. I think in my first five years I was um, sort of unlucky with injuries in the last two years I've been able to um, get through unscathed thankfully and and this this year is no different um, and uh, yeah big focus for me is just getting reps out on the field all them match sim reps um, scenario reps uh, and yeah I think that's been big for me in building my game um, as a halfback player and also as a leader out there. Talking, talking about leadership just mentioning it there obviously there's you know, if he's open to passing the captaincy on if, if, if the, the tap on the shoulder comes. Talking about setting standards in, in match sim and that sort of stuff. But is that something you put your hand up for if, if it comes around? Oh, if it, if it came around and, and they thought I was the right man for the job, 100% I'd throw my hand up. But at this stage, um, the way I look at it, Dyson's still our captain until until he or the club decides anything different. That's how I'm viewing it. So, Have you guys voted on a, a captaincy or leadership group yet? No, we haven't had any of those chats yet. I think Brad's been big on um, just letting the pre-season unfold and, and seeing how everyone goes out on the field and that sort of thing. And um, as, far, yeah, as far as I stand, Dyson's been unreal this pre-season. He's come back round to go. Um, and yeah, whether, whether he's captain or not captain is uh, obviously his decision, I think. But um, it's still the way I view him out on the field as our best leader. Have you spoken to Dyson at all about it? Do you get the sense that he does want to continue on his captaincy? Oh, I get the sense that he'd obviously want to lead the club again. He's um, a very proud person and um, uh, I haven't spoken to him about it personally, but um, I'm sure he'd love to lead the club again. Is it fair to say there's more clarity around, around what you're trying to get done on the field this year than, than there was sort of throughout stages last year? Yeah, I think um, the clarity is going to come once, once games start. There's been a big focus on if you can't play your role, for us you won't be playing. Um, and I think once the season starts and games start, um, that's when that'll really come to a head. If guys aren't playing the role um, that we need them to play for the team, then they won't be playing. And um, yeah, I think 
I think if we can stick to that, then we'll start building building a good culture in that sense. Everyone's on the same page, though. You sort of get more so than potentially there, there was in previous years. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to think we're on the same page uh, in the past, but it probably didn't show that way on the football field with our win-loss ratio. Um, but yeah, I'd, again, I think the buy-in to what Brad's brought into the club this preseason has been unreal so far. And as I said earlier, we probably won't get a good gauge on how we're going until games start against a real opposition because it's a bit hard to tell when it's uh, Essendon v Essendon out on the training track. Obviously Andy McGrath has gone back to be part of the defensive setup, but um, you sort of on paper maybe lack sort of a couple of key tools in that defensive post. Who's sort of going to step up from that perspective or since Zach Reed's injured at the moment? Yeah, I think, I think Zach's going to be key for us um, going forward. Um, obviously he's injured at the moment. Um, we've had a few changes with uh, Nick Cox coming back and, and having a go in defence. So if we can get him out there and get a bit of height around the around the D50, not necessarily with keys, but um, we want we want to have a defence where we're not really leaving our um, key backs on an island. So we want to be coming over and helping um, as the good teams do and coming over um, and getting intercept marks, spoils, that kind of thing. Um, so I don't, I don't reckon the, uh, if we're able to defend like we're planning to, I don't reckon the uh, height will be an issue. Yeah. Uh, just last one, what are some of the trademarks that, that Essendon's going to um, portray on field under, under Brad Scott? What can Essendon fans expect? Yeah, well, from my point of view, um, what Brad's brought in is obviously that defensive structures and that sort of thing. And I think the, the pressure around the ball and being able to set up well behind the ball is going to be key for us. So I think chasing and defensive pressure is going to be huge. Yeah. Just one more. Peter Wright went off with a calf complaint the other day. Have you got a sense as playing group what's going on with him or is, does he seem all right? Pulled up okay. Yeah, I think he went off went off for a scan and it came back all clear. But um, obviously Pete's a very important player for us. So I think they'll take a pretty conservative approach and there's still a fair few weeks left until the season starts and if we can get him out there for those practice games that'll be huge because um, he's massive for our structure but um, having a chat to him this morning he seems like he's going really well so uh, I'm sure you'll see him out here running around today.